Welcome to this LibreOffice Calc lesson on logical functions. Most of the arguments or parameters used by logical functions are Boolean values. There are two Boolean values. They are true or false. True evaluates to 1 and false evaluates to 0. And you can use 1 or 0 rather than true or false. All the comparative operators you use return a Boolean value, like 3 more than 2 returns true, and 4 less than 2 returns false. In some functions in the previous lessons, I've used Boolean values, like the sort order parameter in the VLOOKUP function. You can use true or false rather than 1 or 0. It wouldn't matter. It's just more typing, so I use 1 or 0. So, with this in mind, I'll start with the AND function. The AND function takes up to 30 logical parameters. If all the parameters are true, then AND returns true. Otherwise, if any parameter is false, it will return false. All of them must be true to get a true. Here's an example. I've got these numbers in column A and B. And in C, I'm going to test whether both A and B are more than 2. So in cell C2, type equals and press Enter. Click cell A2, then type more than 2, comma, click cell B2, then type more than 2, press Enter, then click cell C2, double click the fill handle. So, in the first row, both numbers are more than 2, so both parameters in the AND function returned a true result, and so AND returned true. Next row, there's a 1 and a 3, so the first parameter resulted in false, and the second was true. So AND returned false, because both parameters must be true. Now, for the OR function. The OR function will return true if any of the parameters return true. It will return false only when all parameters are false. So in cell D2 here, I'll type equals, or, then press enter. Click cell A2 and type more than 2, comma, click B2, type more than 2. Press enter, click back in D2, and double-click the fill handle to fill the column. In the first row, both numbers are more than 2, so OR gives true. In the second row, where AND gave me a false, OR returns true, because one of the two numbers is more than 2. The next row, both numbers are less than 2, so OR returns false because at least one parameter must return a true. Next is the IF function. The IF function is often used in combination with the AND and OR functions. It has three parameters. In its first parameter, the IF function takes a Boolean value. If the value is true, it executes the second parameter. If the value is false, it executes the third. Here's an example. I have some numbers in this column. I'll use the IF function to let me know if they're more than or equal to 2. So in B2, I type equals IF, then press ENTER. The first parameter is TEST. This will be a Boolean value, so the test will be if the value in column A is more than or equal to 2. So I click A2 and type more than or equal than a 2, comma. Next parameter is the THEN value. 
If the test in parameter 1 results in a true, this parameter gets executed. I'll type double quote, two or more, end quote. Now a comma. Next parameter is the otherwise value. If the test in parameter 1 results in a false, this parameter gets executed rather than parameter 2. I'll put double quote, less than 2, end quote. So if the number in column A is 2 or more, the result in parameter 1 is true, and I get the message 2 or more. If the number in column A is less than 2, the result in parameter 1 will be false, and I'll get the message less than 2. Press Enter, then click B2, double-click the fill handle. So that's how it works. Basically, if the first parameter is true, do the second parameter, otherwise do the third. Now for something more practical. Here's an inventory. I want to find out if type A parts are low and need to be reordered. We need to keep in stock at least 20 type A parts. So here I'm going to use the AND function with the IF function. In D2 I type equals IF, press ENTER. Then here I'm going to use AND, so type AND, press ENTER. First test will be if part is type A. So click C2, then type equals, then double quote, A, end quote, comma. Now click B2, then type less than 20. So the AND function is going to return true if both the type is A and the quantity is less than 20. Click after the AND function's parentheses, then a comma, the THEN value. What to do if the quantity is less than 20? Type a double quote, reorder, end quote. Now a comma, the otherwise value. What to do if the quantity is sufficient? So double quote, OK, end quote. Press Enter, then click D2 again, and double click the fill handle. So when the type is A, and the quantity is less than 20, it tells me to reorder. Otherwise, it gives me an OK. Now I need to find out if any parts with the type B or C have a quantity less than 25. So I'll need to use OR with AND inside of the IF function. So in plain language, my formula will be if the type is B or C and the quantity is less than 25, reorder, otherwise OK. To start this, in E2 type equals, if, then press enter. I need the AND function here first, so type AND, press enter. Now I need the OR function as the first parameter of the AND function. So type OR, then ENTER. Now first I'm going to test whether type is B or C. So I click C2, then equals, double quote, B, end quote, comma. Click C2 again, then equals, double quote, C, end quote. Now so far I've got if type is B or C. Click after the OR function parentheses. Type a comma to get to the next parameter of the AND function. 
click B2, then type less than 25. So now I've got if type is B or C and quantity is less than 25, now click after the AND parentheses and type a comma. Now the THEN value. So type double quote, reorder, end quote, comma. Next parameter, otherwise, double quote, OK, end quote. Press Enter. Now click in E2 again and double click the fill handle. So if the type is B or C and the quantity is less than 25, you get the message to reorder. Otherwise, the message is OK. One final useful logical function to show you is the NOT function. This inverts any Boolean value it refers to. So here in cell A1 I have true. Now in B1 I'll type equals NOT, then press ENTER. I'll click A1, then press ENTER, and it gives me false. It always gives you the opposite. In the inventory formula I just did, instead of using the OR function testing if the part type was B or C, I could use NOT to test if the value was NOT A. Then it would have to be B or C. It makes the function a little bit shorter. So here in D2 I type equals if, press ENTER, then type AND, press ENTER. Now for the first parameter of AND. Type NOT, press ENTER. Click C2, then type equals, double quote, A, end quote. Click after the parentheses for the NOT function, comma, click B2, then type less than 25. Click after the parentheses for the AND function, comma, type double quote, reorder, end quote, then a comma, type double quote, OK, end quote, press ENTER. Click in D2 again and double click the fill handle, and there you have it. If the part type is not A, and the quantity is less than 25, reorder. Otherwise, OK. Well, that concludes this lesson. Thanks for watching.